Hi, this is Don Ashpole. I'm an advanced certified pro advisor in Portland, Oregon. Have you ever wanted to create a report in QuickBooks and you just couldn't find the right report to start with? You know how you want it totaled and sorted. Well, two of my favorite reports are some that most people don't even know are available, and I'd like to share them with you now. Custom Transaction Reports, both summary and detail. Both of these reports are available under Reports, Custom Reports, and then choose Summary and Detail. Let's take a look at the summary report first. With this report, you have the ability to choose how you want the columns displayed. Just click on the drop-down list. These go across the top of the report. Then you can select how the rows are displayed. Again, clicking on the drop-down to pick. These go down the left-hand side. So here's an idea on how you might use this report. Let's say you have multiple classes, and when you run the standard profit and loss by class report, your classes stretch for page after page. Now let's say you just want to track the revenue by those classes, and it sure would be nice if you could have the classes going down the left-hand side of the report and the income accounts across the top. So how would you create it? Well, let's get started. First, we open the custom summary report. Notice it opens to the modify screen before it even creates a report. Now we're going to change the display columns, the ones across the top, to income statement. This is our chart of accounts. Then we're going to change the display rows to class. These go down the left-hand side. Now if we only want to see this report for revenue accounts, we're going to click on the filter tab and under choose filter account, and from the drop-down, we're going to pick all ordinary income accounts. What we want is our income across the top, our classes down the left. The last thing we're going to do before we run our report is to click on the header footer. And where it says report title, we're going to replace custom summary report with revenue by classes. And click OK. We now have a report with our classes down the left our income across the top with a report title that reflects what it is. The last thing we're going to do is click the Memorize button and memorize this report so that we have it whenever we want it. Another idea for this report, if you use customer types, would be to change the display, display rows by customer type, the columns total only. Again, we filtered it for just our ordinary income types. And for the name, we would do revenue by customer type. And now we have our revenue coming in from each customer type. A nice report. It's easy to use. The other report we're going to look at is the custom detailed report. Just like you'd expect, this report shows you the detailed transactions. Again, we're going to go to reports, custom, and a transaction detail. With this report, you get to select the columns you see. Just scroll down the list on the Display tab, and then to the right, how you want it totaled. I use this report to get a detailed report for, say, employee advances. Let's create a report showing the employee advances and which employees still owe us money. For the columns, I selected the date, type, number, memo, and amount. Then in the middle of the screen, I'm going to select total by employee. I want this report to show me by employee when I gave them the advance and when I deducted it from their paychecks. I'm also going to change the date range to all because I don't remember when I gave them the draw or if and when I deducted it. Then I'm going to click on the filter tab for account. And remember, I only want the employee advances. I don't need to see any other accounts. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the header footer, and I'm going to replace the report title to Employee Advances. I now have a report that's totaled by employee. It shows me when I gave them the draw, when I deducted it from their paycheck, and what their balance is. You can use this report for almost any account. I also use the same thing with customer prepayments. Both of these reports give you powerful resources. Use your imagination and play around to create your own masterpiece. And don't forget, once you've created the perfect report, click on the Share Template button and share it with other people. And don't worry, this only shares your formatting, not any of your information. Have fun!